Hey, Perry here with Taylor Sound. A friend of mine, <clears throat> Ed Heichel, local uh, drummer and, well, bass player too, I guess. Um, he's in a bunch of bands, or three bands to be exact, and he's got, he's running these um, EV speakers here. Um, ZLX-12s. ZLX-12s. And um, he hit me up and he just said, hey, do you know how those... QSC um, KE12.2s would uh, compare. And I said, I have no idea. Come on, bring them over. Bring it over, and we're going to just check it out. So um, impromptu comparison, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so this is check one, two. This is one speaker, and we're just looking at this. So this is this is where these are set. Um, zero, zero gain. Well, it's only in um, channel A here. So this one is really the only one that matters. So it's at zero gain or zero dB there. Everything else is basically just default. I don't think I even set these speakers up to have any sort of EQ or anything on them. Um, so we'll just compare. Apples to apples. Off initial goal, that thing is loud. Check one, two. Yeah, I mean, you might find that this is the QSC. Check one, two. Check one, two. And we're in a big room. You can see it's these are like 30-foot ceilings. Check, check, check. One, two. Um, and I won't even mess with the, the mixer or anything like that. So just keep the, the EQ exactly the same. So that's... Uh, that's the QSC. We'll switch over to the EV now. All right. Okay, so check one, two. Actually, that one's pretty loud, too. It's, to me, it sounds a little muddier. Yeah, it's not as clear. It's not as defined. Check, check. Sounds a little bit more open. Doesn't quite have the power, but it's loud. I mean, it, it spreads some sound out pretty good. It, it uh, I know we're always trying to be neutral and everything. It, the volume to me sounds the same. The QSC sounds better. But yeah. volume wise, or if you're just trying to hear vocals through a mix. Check one, two. Yeah. It sounds like it might be getting to the end of its uh, power. Yeah. Like, it, like the headroom is yeah. not quite as much. But uh, in terms of volume, I agree. They're about the same. Check one, two. Check one, two. Um, yeah, I mean, do you want to do you want to go back and forth one more time? Let's, yeah, let's let's do that. Ch check one two. Actually, that one might be louder. Yours might be louder, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything because I who knows how the the gain is set up in there. This no. one's at, this one's at zero as well. Right, but who? But still, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That's at zero. Yeah, that's check zero. one two. So this is the QSC. Sounds a little bit more defined, a little tighter sound. It feels like I have a lot more headroom with this one, like I could go a lot louder. But, uh, you know, just at zero gain, I think they, you know, they're they very comparable. Well, they really are. Yeah. So we're going to switch back one more time, get, let you hear the EVs. Check one, two, back to the EVs. I think it's actually louder. I think it's louder. I think that the QSC sound better, but if you're merely in a band trying to practice, the EV actually almost seems like it cuts more. Check one, two. Check one, two. It sounds good. EV sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess you probably, at that point, you know, maybe talk about, you know, uh, construction. I mean, the construction might be... A little bit better on the QSC. The QSC looks nicer. The back panel looks nicer on the QSC. Yeah. It looks like there's more controls. Yeah, you can you can dive into that to that QSC quite a bit. I don't know if there's do they have some settings in there that you can there's play with. There's some, but for the mo for the most part, the EV is basically a treble and a bass. That's it. And there are settings for a pole and a floor monitor and they do make it really does make a difference between what the two of them sound like and it's set in floor monitor right now 
Um, and there is also a speech only, and the speech only setting sounds different than, than the music. I usually leave it on, on what they call monitor stage, and you know, I'll practice, and we run vocals mostly, but I'll also run, you know, I'll sometimes play with, uh, plug an iPad in and, you know, play the drums straight to it. Um, though I have been looking into doing some isolation uh, monitoring while I play the drums now because I'm getting old and my ears And hurt. EV doesn't make <laughs> mixers, right? EV doesn't. Um, right. I, the QSC one looks, re looks really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know if you saw the video that yeah. I put up because you can actually go in there and change settings yes. in here. So, I mean, you know, it's just, yeah. a, I guess it's more a matter of features, but in terms of sound, they're very comparable. Very, yeah, very much so. I, I would say to you that, that sound quality, I think the QSC does sound better. But if you're in a noisy practice room like I am, and you're, you just want to hear Q and make sure that the singer can hear themselves, well, they're very, very comparable. So there you go. Rock on.